بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أنا دكتور مثنى حماشي آه إن شاء الله راح يكون هذا تسجيل صوتي لمحاضرة بعنوان تروماز أراوند هيب المحاضرة نزلناها مسبقا على برنامج المودل ولكن أيضا راح ننزلها بشكل تطبيق صوت آه أو تسجيل صوتي و باوربوينت على التليجرام إن شاء الله حسب ما اتفقتوا مع ممثل المرحلة السلايد الحاضرة هي تروماز أراوند هيب وراح البداية تكون السلايد الأول هو ديسلوكيشن أوف ذا هيب تقييم الدكتور مثنى حموشي السلايد الثاني نحن نعرف أنه المحاضرة عفوا ديسلوكيشنز أوف ذا هيب آر أوف ثري مين تايبس the posterior type which is the commonest type it represents more than 90% or 95% of all the dislocations we see or we encounter in the emergency unit and the anterior type which is in my opinion is extremely rare and the central type which is also fairly common and we see it from time to time uh, which we can associate it with acetabular fracture راح نجيها ان شاء الله بالتفصيل we see that 4 out of 5 traumatic dislocations of the hip is of the posterior type يعني مثل ما قلنا ما 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 90% ما حدود 80 الى 85% من dislocations هو posterior type so posterior hip dislocation which we the one we are going to concentrate upon on this lecture is it is uh, the commonest type of hip dislocation usually the mechanism of injury it occurs in road traffic accidents when someone is seated in, in a truck or car thrown forward striking the knee against the dashboard يعني إذا الشخص جالس بالمقعد الأمامي للسيارة وحصل الاصطدام راح ال الركبة تصطدم بالداشبورد اللي احنا قمين نسميه الداشبول وهذه الـ 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 الإصابة بالركبة راح تنتقل the force will be transmitted to the hip and the hip مثل ما موضح بالصورة التالية راح نشوفها بعد شوية <coughs> the hip will be dislocated posteriorly the femur is thrust backwards and the femoral head is forced out of its socket <coughs> often a piece of bone of the acetabulum is sheared off making it a fracture dislocation احنا مثل ما نعرف انه ال hip joint is a very stable joint and when it is dislocated it needs a very big force this big force that makes the head of the femur out of the socket might also lead to another injury which is injury to the acetabulum احنا نعرف انه اكو فالتركيب مثل الفنجان اللي يغلف راس الفيمر وهذا الفنجان ممكن انه قسم منه ينكسر which is the posterior lip or the posterior wall or the posterior column can be fractured from the acetabulum next slide which is a picture or a, or a, a drawing that shows you how the knee is struck against the da dashboard and the hip is dislocated posteriorly <laughs> next slide it's about clinically how you are going to see the patient on examination the leg, the leg is short adducted and internally rotated and slightly flexed هذه الوضعية لو نتخيلها على نفسنا يعني ممكن كل واحد بينا يتخيل انه the leg is short internally rotated and slightly flexed and adducted هذه الوضعية حتى يقسم يسموها طبعا المريض راح يكون he will not be never be able to stand on his legs because of the pain and the, and the big injury but this, if we imagine that the patient is standing it would be like a beauty queen مثل عارضات الازياء الوقفة مع عارضات الازياء انه الوجه تكون internally rotated and adducted this injury ولي هذه يسموها beauty queen sign نرجع مرة أخرى للنص this injury is easily to be missed when associated with fracture femur the lower limb should be examined for sciatic nerve injury 
يعني ليش يكون when there is a fracture femur right will be missed لأنه إحنا قلنا نشوف الوضعية راح تكون flexion internal rotation adduction and shortening لكن هاي كلها راح تنفقد إذا كان fracture femur لأن اللمب راح يرجع على وضعه الطبيعي below the fracture you can imagine it مثل ما نعرف أيضا sciatic nerve is just behind the hip joint إحنا إذا نعرف وضعية حتى من ننطي gluteal injection نعرف الممر مع الشياتيك نيرف و posteriorly just behind the hip joint and it can be crushed in case of posterior hip dislocation back to the text x-ray the AP view of the femoral head is seen out of its socket and above the astabulum there may be associated a fracture of femoral head or in the rim of the acetabulum فهذا قلنا ممكن يكون injury associated a fracture in the femoral head or in the rim of the acetabulum يعني حافة الأستابلوم next slide you see this picture which we called the beauty queen sign you see how the hip is flexed internally rotated adducted and is shorter than the other one this is also a depiction or a diagram or a figure showing how the hip is dislocated from its normal position which is in dotted lines next slide and uh, this is how you are going to see things in the x-ray you see the left the right hip is dislocated out of its acetabulum or out of its socket but fortunately here there is no uh, fracture next slide how to treat hip dislocation so this is where we should play our role treatment dislocation must be reduced as soon as possible under general anesthesia the patient put on the ground the assistant steadies the pelvis the surgeon start by applying a traction in the line of the femur 90, in, in 90 degrees of flexion of both hips and knee then a clunk terminates the maneuver this should be followed by x-ray checking and then put the injured limp in rest by applying skin or even better or even more beneficial skeletal traction for three to six weeks the patient is allowed to walk by crutches if there is a fracture rim of the stabulum and the piece is large then internal fixation is mandatory خلي شوية نحكي عن هذا الموضوع لأنه شوية موضوع مهم وممكن أنه يعني يفيدنا بالحياة العملية احنا عندنا اي dislocation اي dislocation in orthopedics is considered as an emergency and it is even more emergency than the fracture حتى لو كان مريض عنده hip dislocation وعنده fracture femur we should take care of the dislocation even before the fracture of the femur why? this, this is because that the dislocation should be reduced as soon as possible otherwise you will end up with other problems first it is a very painful condition extremely painful condition for the patient with every single movement the patient will shout Thanian you know that the femoral head or the acetabulum are covered by cartilage and the femoral head itself is uh, has its blood supply that it's well as long as there is integrity of the joint madam the joint متكامل وضعه صحيح هاي الكارتيليجينوس coverings is well nourished بس إذا بقت out of its socket for a long time this cartilage will be destroyed and you will end up with a, a destroyed joint and maybe later osteoarthritis or avascular necrosis of the femoral head which is a very terrible ending هاي نقطة نقطة ثانية how to treat how to treat how to treat a patient with a posterior hip dislocation uh, just for for your interest this is 
the only surgery that is done with the patient on the ground يعني تخلي المريض على الأغوف على أرضية الصالة مع العمليات وتبدي تشتغل هاي النقطة الأولى النقطة الثانية أنه it should be done under general anesthesia and even better muscle relaxant يعني ماكو واحد يرجع such a very big hip dislocation under no anesthesia or local anesthesia this is not not reasonable it's better under general anesthesia and even better with muscle relaxant حتى نرخي العضلات يبقى يصبح العملية أسهل بالنسبة لنا وللمريض النقطة الثالثة أنه you have to have a good assistant to study the pelvis يمسك الأغض يدوسه يمسك البلفس يدوسه على الأغض وأنت تبدي تعمل المانوفر اللي هي تثني الركبة وتثني الهيب جوينت up to 90 degrees and you start manipulating the pelvis left and right internal external rotation until you hear the clank of reduction تسمع الطقة مع الريدكشن بذاك الوقت انه تكون انت نهاية العملية لكن this is not the end of the story because after after that you have steps to do first you have to make sure that you have reduced the hip joint by moving the hip in all the directions second you have to keep your reduction in how to keep the reduction ايش انت تحافظ على الريدكشن انه ما يفلت مرة اخرى انه يو ابلاي سكلي سكين اور ايفن بيتر سكليتال تراكشن يعني خلي لفاف او حتى ندخل فت بين انسايد ذا لور فيمر نبدي نعلق عليه ثقل حتى نحافظ على الريدكشن النقطة الأخرى انه يو شود ري تشيك ذا ريدكشن باي ان اكس راي بعد ما يخرج المريض و يكون مستقر وضعه لازم ناخذ اكس راي ولو حاليا احنا بال يعني بصالات العمليات وي اوريدي هاف اكس راي مشينز اللي هي يعني يسموها سكرين او فلوروسكوبي هاي مفيده جدا انه احنا بعد المريض داخل العمليات ونتاكد انه رجع الديسلوكيشن حتى اذا ما رجع احنا ليش خلنا نخرج المريض ونرجعه مره ثانيه نعمل له العمليه مره اخرى هاي نقطة النقطة الأخرى من الإكس راي تفيدنا بنقطة ثانية هي and we make sure that we have reduced the dislocation and you also make sure that you do not have an associated fracture or otherwise you should, if you have an if, if if the patient has a fracture you should deal with it as such accordingly I mean النقطة الأخيرة أنه after you the patient wakes up from anesthesia You should recheck, recheck neurovascular functions. يعني شياتك نيرف انجري لازم تشيكه قبل ما نقوم بالريدكشن ونشيكه أيضا بعد ما نعمل الريدكشن. النقطة الأخيرة إنه يعني طبعا درجة as in in any case of trauma in orthopedics the treatment is Reduced اللي عملنا هيدا reduction under general anesthesia hold احنا هون قلنا by skin or skeletal traction you hold the reduction and exercise it should be followed by an intensive period of of physiotherapy good physiotherapy to regain function طبعا after a period of rest to make sure that everything has healed والنقطة الأخيرة أيضا أنه إذا كان اكو associated fracture طبعا we should deal with it accordingly fracture neck or femur راح نحتاج open reduction أو close reduction fixation fracture acetabulum إذا big piece we need أيضا fixation next slide شوف هذه الصورة المريض he is being uh, anesthetized and خليله general anesthesia While he's on the ground, also notice the beauty queen sign on the left side, abduction, internal rotation, shortening, and flexion. What are the complications? Next slide. The complications of hip dislocation or posterior hip dislocation are 
it occurs the sciatic nerve injury occurs in 10 to 20 percent of cases but fortunately it usually recovers spontaneously but if does it, it doesn't recover within a few weeks it means a big injury and we should do exploration to repair whatever damage that happened to the nerve second is vascular injury superior gluteal artery I don't think this is very significant but it is mentioned for classical teaching the third complication is associated fracture this is really important because there's acetabular fracture you know this is uh, a joint and unless you have a, an integral joint and a joint متكاملو بينو اخطاء ما بينو مكانات نقوصات otherwise you will have problem with the movement of the joint stiffness pain and later osteoarthritis so fractures of the acetabulum femoral head femoral neck or femoral shaft again femoral shaft fracture might mask the features the clinical features of hip dislocation so be careful next slide this is a picture showing uh, or a drawing showing how the sciatic nerve is situated directly posterior to the hip joint. Late complications include avascular necrosis of the femoral head, which appears in x ray as an increased intensity, increased density of the head of femur, but it is not seen before six weeks, so it is, it's a late sign in x ray. And sometimes up to two years might lapse until you see the x-ray changes so the early changes can be detected uh, better by bone scan or even better by MRI so MRI in case of suspected avascular necrosis is very useful next slide other uh, other late complications beside avascular necrosis are myositis ossificans and reduced dislocation and secondary osteoarthritis this is the end of part one of the lecture and we will resume uh, the rest of the lecture after a few minutes Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim this is the second part of the lecture about uh, traumas around the hip joint traumas around the hip joint and in this part we will talk about femoral neck fractures or fractures of the femoral neck you know the neck of femur is the commonest site of fracture in the elderly and in if we go back to our knowledge we know that older people get osteoporosis and the hallmark of osteoporosis is fracture osteoporosis. osteoporosis is as asymptomatic disease it has no symptoms and the only symptoms usually happens when the patient gets a fracture so what are the types of a fracture that can affect osteoporotic people one of them or one of the commonest types of fractures is the fractures around the femoral neck and uh, Colise fracture of the lower radius as you know fractures of the vertebrae and this is why older people get kyphosis and so on so fractures of the femoral neck has risk factors the first and the commonest risk factor is osteoporosis as we said and the second is osteomalacia and as you know osteomalacia is different from it differs from osteoporosis because osteomalacia means that the bone substance is present but it is lacking calcium and phosphorus and minerals I mean the third risk factor is diabetes mellitus fourth stroke stroke which is CVA due to disuse atrophy which is all, again osteoporosis weak muscles and poor balance which makes the patient more susceptible to falling on the ground or stumbling alcoholism and, and other debilitating diseases 
which also a cause of osteoporosis like uremia for example or malnourishment the next slide generally fractures of the neck of femur is classified into two types intracapsular fractures in the neck of femur and extracapsular fractures of the neck of femur نرجع للأناتومي بشوية بذهننا ونعرف أنه any joint any joint any synovial joint should be surrounded or covered or encapsulated inside a capsular sac مثل كيس كبسول يغلف الجوينت طبعا this this capsule in the hip joint extends from the rims of the acetabulum من حوافي الاستابلام إلى نهاية إلى حوافي neck of the femur so any fracture that happens inside this capsule would be called intracapsular or any but any fracture that happens outside this capsule will be extracapsular is there a big difference we will see now Intracapsular fractures, the first type of the neck of femur. The mechanism of injury, this fracture usually results from a fall directly on the greater trochanter. Uh, in very osteoporotic patient, less force is required, sometimes no more than catching a toe in the carpet or twisting the hip into external rotation. أحيانا المريض يجي يقول لك أنا ما وقعت أنا بس مجرد عثوته بحيفة المحفوظ بحيفة الكاربت يعني اللي درجة هل قد درجة عنده موستيوبوروسيس بحيث العظم ضعيف جدا حيث وقعة بسيطة أو تعثر بسيط ممكن أنه يؤدي إلى هذا الفراتشر In young people remember that the bone is still strong and it needs a very big force to do to cause this fracture like in car accidents or fall from heights next slide classification the most useful classification of intracapsular fracture remember that we are talking about intracapsular fracture not extracapsular so the most useful classification of the intracapsular fracture is that of garden classification <coughs> هنشوف بعد شوية بالنكست سلايد هي الجاردن كلاسفيكيشن بس خليني اشرحه هو which is based on the degree of displacement and here the classification into stages stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4 and why we call it a stage we don't call it مثلا type 1, type 2 this is has a meaning the cause behind calling them stages rather than types or classes or whatever because that's because the fracture might change from one stage into an to, into another if you leave if you leave it without treatment so for example you might encounter a patient with a a patient with a stage one or two fracture and if you leave leave him even in bed without movement the second or third day you will see that the fracture has changed into type 3 or, or stage 3 or 4 so this is why we call it stages and this is why we should interfere as soon as possible again uh, back to the text stage 1 is an incomplete impacted fracture stage 2 is a complete undisplaced fracture stage 3 complete fracture with moderate displacement stage 4 is a severely displaced fracture in the next slide you see what we mean by these stages stage 1 incomplete fracture stage 2 complete fracture stage 3 complete mildly displaced stage 4 severely displaced next slide this fracture is complicated by two main problems which are uh, this is the uh, what we mean by the difference between intracapsular and extracapsular. How the intracapsular being high muscular. Muscular الأولى هي ischemia of the head of femur. Right.
Uh, sorry for interruption. Uh, we'll continue with the problems of the uh, about the femoral neck intracapsular femoral neck fractures. Again, we say that the problem of the femoral neck fracture, which is intracapsular, is that the ischemia of the head of femur first, and the second is tardy union. Tardy union means delayed union or even non-union. Why does ischemia happen when there is a fracture of intracapsular neck femur? Because of its peculiar blood supply, the blood supply of the head of the femur comes from intramedullary vessels of the femoral neck, which is the bone, the medullary canal of the bone. The capsular vessels, which are in the capsule of the joint, تمشي بداخل الكبسول وأخيرا third the vessel in the ligamentum teres which is very weak فإذا the first two vessels are interrupted by the fracture يعني هاي two sources of blood اللي هي intramedullary vessels والcapsular vessels لما يصير fracture neck of femur نتوقع أنه هذه vessels تتمزق أو تتدمر في كثير من الأحيان so the first two vessels are interrupted by the fracture and the third is present only in 20% of the elderly and this the vessel of the ligamentum teres the third this will be very difficult and often it will be dead with the age only in 20% of the older people this is present next slide yes so what are the clinical features of fracture neck of femur? There is history of fall. واحد وقع رجال كبير أو مغ كبير وقعت على عض followed by pain in the hip. If the fracture is displaced, the limb will be externally rotated and short. فإذا هاي النقطتين النقطة الأولى إنه history of fall وإحنا مثل ما قلنا عادة تكون فت fall جدا بسيطة. يعني فت وقعة بسيطة عادة القصة اللي تجينا احنا بال بالكلينكس وبالمستشفى وبالاستشارية وبالطوارئ يجي يقول لك يتوضا وزحلق بالحمام وقع مرة كبيرة او رجل كبير النقطة الثانية انه the fracture if it is displaced the limp will be externally rotated and short ونذكركم انه لما كنا عم نحكي عن ال hip dislocation كان internal rotation بينما هون راح نحكي انه نقول external rotation and shortening well there's a difference this is difference between uh, neck uh, femoral neck fracture and hip dislocation clinically treatment the first measure is to apply skin traction to supplant the fracture and to control pain and to give analgesic for the pain relief and if you the skin traction it is not a treatment for the fracture يعني خلينا نتبع على النقطة إن إحنا نقول skin traction for fracture neck of femur this is not a treatment this is a temporary measure just to control pain to control excessive movement around the fracture which will cause more bleeding and more complications and then to give analgesia to relieve pain operative treatment is always mandatory how the fracture neck of femur the patient is likely not to heal after it. ما نتوقع إنه هذا راح يطيب فراشة نيكو في مر خاصة مع وجود هذا ال poor blood supply مع وجود ال possibility of non-union. فنتوقع إنه هذا ما راح يطيب إلا ب operative treatment أن نعالج وجراحيا. So displaced fractures will not unite without internal fixation. Old people should be got up and active without delay to avoid pulmonary complications and bed sores. So then, هاي النقطة يعني إنه إحنا نتوقع إنه ما راح يطيب هذا ما راح يطيب إلا إذا نعمله فد إنت fixation أو hip replacement مثل ما راح نوصل بعد شوية. النقطة الثانية إنه هذا ال old people من تعوفهم بالسرير أسبوع عشرة أيام أسبوعين نتوقع إنه تجيك مشاكل. مشاكل هي bed ridden patient هي pulmonary complications DVT bed sore UTI chest infection هاي طبعا بالإضافة لأنه هو 
يعني معرض اكثر انه يصير عنده مسل ويستينج عن جوينت ستيفنس بعد ما خليت المريض بالسرير اذا عمره 70 سنه اذا خليته بالسرير ثلاث اسبوعين او ثلاثه او اربعه لا تتوقع بسهوله راح يقوم مره اخرى حتى لو طاب you should do it as soon as you can as soon as it is possible لا تاخر هذا الكسر بالعلاج واللي هو surgical treatment again next slide the operation should be done as early as possible to avoid risk of complications حكيناها بالورد مكتوب the principle is perfect reduction secure rigid fixation and early mobilization فإذا احنا الفكرة انه تعمل good reduction and then good fixation and then make the patient mobilize again as soon as possible out of bed The fixation should be done by internal fixators like compression screws, plates and screws, dynamic hip screw. But in patients above 70 with displaced fracture, partial hip replacement or total hip arthroplasty is uh, indicated. ليش احنا هذا مريض عمره فوق ال 70 سنة افرض انه احنا عملنا له internal fixation And he has already damaged blood vessels. يعني blood vessels اللي تغذي الهدية already damaged. بالحالة بعد كم شهر راح يصير non-union of vascular necrosis. And you will have to repeat the surgery. يعني وتشيل internal fixation وتشيل الهد وترجع من جديد تعمل عملية حتى تعمل hip arthroplasty. No, you should go straight up, straight ahead and do hip replacement surgery. يعني شيل النك وخلي prosthetic hip. whether partial اللي هو بس تبدل الهيد of the femur or total اللي تبدل الهيد وتبدل الكب اللي هو الاستابلم next slide so this is a, uh, an x-ray photo of an x-ray of a patient who was treated by uh, multiple compression three compression screws this is uh, ideal fixation and ideal healing you see the, it has healed very nicely No evidence of avascular necrosis or joint destruction because it, it, it was done early. Next slide, see this is what we call the dynamic hip screw. Dynamic hip screw, the crochet هذا. It's a screw, lock screw, اللي يدخل داخل النك وبين side plate يثبت على shaft of the femur. We can offer a supplementary screw to prevent rotation. This is a picture of an X-ray of a patient who had total hip replacement. Total hip replacement. This is just to remember the total hip replacement. How does it look in X-ray? <coughs> As any other fracture, it has complications. The fracture neck of femur. General complications. إحنا قلنا هو المريض elderly. Most of the patients are elderly, and they are prone to general complications such as. deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, pneumonia, bed sore, and you know the rest. But local complications, are there local? Yes, there are local complications. Next slide, the مكتوب بالوردي, avascular necrosis of the femoral head. وإحنا حكينا ليش هذا يصير. Early diagnosis of avascular necrosis is by MRI. Few weeks later, we can diagnose it by bone scan. حقيقة حاليا احنا ما كثير ما كثير نحتاج البون سكان بوجود ال MRI because it is more or less an invasive procedure. X-ray changes may not show itself for months or even years. شفنا احنا ال ال مثل ما قلنا ال ال X-ray changes احيانا تتأخر اشهر او سنوات احنا ما نقعد ننتظر لازم نحاول نتصرف قبله. Next slide, we see the picture that shows the blood supply of the femoral head. We see the upper, the lower, the lower branch of the carotid artery that enters the ligament of the femur. And then the capsular vessels and the intramedullary vessels that enter the bone and enter the bone. Next slide, we see the X-ray of a patient. who was not treated early. He had severe collapse of the head 
a vascular necrosis and you can can barely see a joint space تقريبا ماكو joint space يعني joint space can انسد يعني حالا نسميها ankylosis bony ankylosis next slide treatment of avascular necrosis since avascular necrosis is a very common complication of these fractures and sometimes it happens due to other causes يعني يمكن ناخذها في موضع اخر الافاسكولار نيكروسيس اوف ذا فيمورال هيد يصير ان اذر كوزز سمتايمز اتس ايديوباثيك وي دونت نو ذا كوز سمتايمز ات هابنز افتر اكسسيف ستيرويد تريتمنت سمتايمز اسوسييتد وذ الكهوليزم اور ثايرويد ديزيزز اور اذر اذر بروبلمز ميديكال اند سيرجيكال كونديشنز اور تروماتيك بات ان ذيس ان اور اكزامبل هير ات از Uh, sometimes follows uh, fracture, especially displaced fracture neck of femur intracapsular type intracapsular type occurred with tachyd in patients over 45 years old the treatment is by total hip replacement below this age the treatment will be by realignment osteotomy or arthrodesis احنا قلنا اذا العمر كبير احنا راسا نروح نبدل المفصل اذا العمر صغير اكو عندنا Uh, خيارات أخرى مثلا الريالاينمنت أوستيوتومي يعني احنا نقص العظم ونديغه بالاتجاه معين بحيث يكون جهة التماس بين الهيب جوينت وال يعني في مورا الهيد والاستافيوم ما بها فاسكولار نيكروسيس أو أرثروديسيس واللي تقريبا العملية الأرثروديسيس هي عملية إلغاء المفصل يعني تجميد المفصل حاليا نادرا ما نستعمله بوجود التقنيات الحديثة مال الأرثروبلاستي Second complication also is non-union. Non-union in more than 30% of all femoral neck fractures fail to unite and increase the uh, in displaced fractures. احنا ليش بالبداية قبل لا نبدأ بكل شيء حكينا عن ال garden classification اللي هو stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. Stage four اللي هي the most displaced. طبعا the highest rate of non-union happens with the stage four. and the least with stage 1 مثل ما نتخيل next slide راح نشوف x-ray of a patient who had non-union of the femoral neck يعني if you look carefully you will not even see a neck the neck was at, uh, as if it was resolved كان لكن ذابت النك ومن تماعة تشوفها but this is due to non-union old non-union of the femoral neck and in this case of course The patient usually need total hip replacement. Next slide. The third complication is osteoarthritis of the hip joint. An avascular necrosis of the femoral head will lead to osteoarthritis later on. Treatment is again by total hip replacement. يعني شوف إحنا هذا total hip ينقل لنا المواقف بالكثير من الحالات. Next slide. هسا حكينا عن ال uh, intracapsular fractures والمشاكلة راح نحكي عن ال intertrochanteric fractures اللي هي extracapsular and as the name implies extracapsular مثل ما تخيلنا انه هو خارج الكبسول اللي حكينا عنه التسمية الثانية ال intertrochanteric او pertrochanteric الكتب تختلف بالتسميات وبالتصنيفات Well, intertrochanteric, as the name implies, when the fracture extends between the trochanters, the greater trochanter and lesser trochanter. أي كسر يصير بين هذول النقطتين اللي هو راح يفصل ال ال femoral head and neck from the shaft. هذا يسمينه intertrochanteric fracture. طبعا هو يعني again يعني the same behavior as intracapsular uh, intra common in elderly osteoporotic people most of the patients are women in the 8th decade of life يعني elderly وما خلي نقول but in contrast to intracapsular fracture extracapsular intertrochanteric fracture unite quite easily and seldom cause avascular necrosis يعني هاي المشكلتين اللي هي النون يونيون او التاردي يونيون مثل ما سميناها ثانيا الافاسكولار نيكروسيس عادة عادة ما تحدث بالاكسترا كابسولار فراكشرز نكست سلايد 
شوف هاي فد صورة تشوفنا أنواع الإكسترا إنتر تروكام تريكا والإكسترا كابسل فراكتشرز هاي فد رسم توضيحي ممكن يكون سمبل فراكتشر ممكن في مايلد كومنيوشن ممكن يكون سيفير كومنيوشن نكست سلايد شوف هذي إكس راي شوف the left hip there is an intertrochanteric fracture of the neck of femur of the left side it is displaced see the fracture extends between the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter this is the fracture line but fortunately this is extra capsular so we are not quite afraid of non-union and uh, avascular necrosis treatment next slide Treatment of intertrochanteric fracture are almost always treated by yearly internal fixation. Why? إحنا خلنا ما كو avascular necrosis ما كو نيني لكن إحنا علش مستعجين early internal fixation. Again, remember to obtain the uh, best possible position and to get the patient up and walking as soon as possible and thereby reduce the complications associated with the prolonged recumbency and in bed rest. يعني اجين اذكركم انه هذا المريض كثير بالعمر شايب او عجوز وعنده اذر كوموربيديتيز ضغط وسكري وقلب وهذا معرض اكثر للدي في تي والبيت سور والبلمونري امبوليزم شوف احنا نكرر هاي المساله لانه مهمه يو نيد تو جيت ذا بيشنت اوت اوف بيد از سون از بوسيبل اذروايز يو ويل اند اب ويز ا ستيف بيشنت ماسل ويستينج and other complications might that might be even more fatal than the fracture itself so next slide treatment the fracture is fixed with an angle يعني اكو عندنا عدة خيارات مثلا angle device اللي هو angle the plate or sliding screw in conjunction with the plate اللي سمينا dynamic hip screw مثل ما شفنا هنا بالصورة الانترامدلري نيل او 95 ديجري سكرو بليت اللي سميناه ال بليت ال بليت راح نشوف صور هوني شوف النكست سلايد هو الدايناميك هيب سكرو اوف ذا فراكشر نكست سلايد هذا اللي سميناه ال بليت او الفيكست انجل بليت نكست سلايد هاي فد صوره توضيحيه لفكره الانترامدلري نيل اللي سميناه بهالحاله سميناه بروكسيمال femoral nail شوفوا نيل يدخل بداخل المدلري كانال اوف ذا بون ومعنا سكرو لاك سكرو احنا نسمينه يدخل بداخل النيك اوف ذا فيمر اند ات از فيكس ديستالي باي ان انترلوكينج سكرو حقيقه ذا بروكسيمال فيمورال نيل او البي اف ان مختصر احنا نسمينه بي اف ان خاف تسمعوا من البي اف ان هو هذا معناه بروكسيمال فيمورال نيل ذيس از ناو كونسيدر ذا بيست This is now considered the best for fixation of intertrochanteric fractures. Next slide. Complications include early complications, the same as intracapsular femoral neck fracture. Next slide. Late complications like failed fixation. Tafuna dori, yani him old people and they are osteoporotic and they have a very weak bone quality او bad bone quality البون مالهم احيانا يكون اشبه ما يكون بالسفنج او بالفلين فانت اي نوع فيكسيشن تخلينه there is a risk of failed fixation انه يفلت انت هذا يقطع للبون ويطلع الفيكسيشن من مكانه failed fixation the next complicated complication is the malunion which is lead to virus and external rotation deformities and non-union But intertrochanteric fractures seldom fail to unite, fortunately. Next slide. See, this is an X-ray of a patient which was fixed by L plate or fixed angle plate, and you see how the plate has failed, and it is out of the bone. This is the end of the lecture. Uh, thank you for listening. Inshallah, we will have time for interaction and the discussion. Thank you.